Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. And today, I am here with the next in my series of uh, tournament games between one bad team from the past and one good team from the past. And today, it's another National League matchup, since I've only got one in the books to date. So this one is going to be the um, 1951 Cincinnati Reds, who only won 68 games, against the 1977 LA Dodgers, who won 98 games. And I will be putting the lineups for the first game which this is, I will be putting the lineups on the uh, screen so that you can look at those. Um, and generally I use the same lineups for every game. Again, uh, to reiterate the rules here, I am going to be using the DH. I will use the DH for every game in the tournament, every team, every game. Uh, Major League Baseball is going in that direction and also it helps me concentrate a little better if I don't have to worry about pinch hitting for pitchers and taking out pitcher hitting cards and putting in new pincher, pitcher hitting cards. So anyway, uh, for this game, Cincinnati of 1951 will be the visiting team, so they will be up first against the 77 Dodgers. The 77 Dodgers will have Don Sutton on the mound to start out. And he will be pitching to Lloyd Merriman to lead off for Cincinnati. And he gets a 3-5, which is a strikeout. So Merriman strikes out on his first at bat against Sutton. That brings up Joe Adcock. Joe Adcock gets a 1-4, which is a line out to third base. So he's out. And that brings up Johnny Wyrostek. And if I mispronounce that name, let me know in the comments. That's a 6-11 on Sutton's card, which is a fly ball to the right fielder. The right fielder for the Dodgers is Reggie Smith, and uh, he's a 2. And that is a 7, which I believe is an out. And it is. So, Wyrostek is out. Cincinnati gets nothing there. And that brings up the Dodgers. The Dodgers will lead off against Davey Lopes, and he's going up against the Reds pitcher for today, who will be Ewell Blackwell. And that's a 2-7, which is a walk. Lopes leads off and gets aboard with a walk. So Blackwell allows the first guy that he sees to get on base. And that brings up Steve Garvey. Steve Garvey gets a 3-4, which is a ground ball to the shortstop A, which is a double play, and there are two outs. And that brings up Reggie Smith, the right fielder, as we mentioned in the top of the first, 4-7. And that is a walk. So Reggie Smith gets aboard with a walk. So two of the first three hitters that Blackwell has faced have reached, but both on walks. That brings up Dusty Baker, and Dusty Baker gets a 4-5, which is a strikeout. So Baker ends the inning. First strikeout for Blackwell. The Dodgers get nothing in their half of the first. And that brings up for the Reds, Connie Ryan to lead off the top of the second against Sutton. That's a 4-6. That's a strikeout. Sutton with his second strikeout of the game. Ted Klazuski, big clue. Gets a 5-7. Is a fly ball right field B. And he is out. And that brings up Virgil Stalka. And he gets a 2-3, which is a ground ball to short, and he's out. So the Reds get no base runners, no runs, no base runners, no nothing again in the second inning, just like the first. Upstep the Dodgers with Rick Monday. 
Morgan. Rick Monday gets a 5-8, which is a triple one or a single. Off Blackwell, and that is a single. So, Monday with the hit, the single. It would have been a little hard to believe Rick Monday would have gotten a triple anyway. Ron Say is up. The Penguin, 4-4. Four, four. That's going to be a ground ball to third. The third baseman for the Reds is um, Adams, and he's the third base three. And that's a 19. 19 and three is a two base error. So Adams makes a two base error, and now there are runners at second and third. And the air by Adams. So runners at second and third, no outs. Um, the Reds will bring the infield in. Lee Lacey up. He gets a 2-7, which is a strikeout. One away. Blackwell with a key strikeout of Lacey. That brings up Bill Russell. Infield still in. 1-8. And that is a line out to second base. Two away. And so now obviously the Reds will play the infield back. And Steve Yeager's up. And he gets a 2-3, which is a strikeout plus injury. So Yeager strikes out. Let's take care of that first. And now let's roll for the injury. And that's a 15. So he's going to be out for the rest of this series. So that's bye-bye Steve Yeager. And they will bring in Johnny Oates to play catcher for the Dodgers for the rest of this game at least. And he is a catcher three. Not really too much of a break, really, for the Reds. Um, Jaeger is probably the better defensive catcher, but neither one of them can hit very well. So, no runs for L.A. They strand two runners at second and third um, with, uh, and they had no outs at the time, but they couldn't get them in, so... That brings up to the plate for the Reds, Bobby Adams, the guy, the third baseman, the guy who made the error in the top of the or in the bottom of the second. He leads off 210 and he gets a single. And he's the first Reds base runner. First hit allowed by Sutton. That brings up Dixie Howell, the catcher. He gets a 5-7, which is a fly ball. One away. Fly ball to right field if you're keeping track. Keeping score. Uh, Bob Usher comes up and he is the left fielder. That is a 6-8, which is a double one to 15 or a single. And that's going to be a single. Double asterisk. So Usher... Gets another, the second base hit off of Sutton, which puts runners at the corners with one out. And Lloyd Merriman, the top of the order, up 2-9. He gets a strikeout again. He's been struck out for the second time this game. Two away. And Joe Adcock up, and he gets a 2-7, which is a pop-out to third. So, with Merriman and Adcock up to try to get the go-ahead run in, they are unable to do so. And the Reds still have no runs. We go to the bottom of the third. In a scoreless game. And that brings up Davey Lopes. And he gets a 3-8. And that's a home run 1-7 or a fly ball. And that is going to be a fly ball to the left fielder. Davey Lopes is out. One away. Steve Garvey up. He gets a 5-6 on Blackwell's card. That's a fly ball to center. So Blackwell doing rather well here, holding the Dodgers down. His team not doing much offensively, though, yet. Reggie Smith. Reggie Smith gets a 311, which is a ground ball to second base, and he's out. So no runs come across for the Dodgers. 
and that brings up wire stack for the uh, the Reds to lead off in the top of the fourth. He gets a 2-7, which is a single. So that's a base hit for the Reds. Third hit allowed by Sutton. Connie Ryan up. He gets a 3-6, which is a pop-out to shortstop between two hits. One away. Ted Klazuski. He gets a 4-5, which is a strikeout on Sutton's card. Fourth strikeout for Sutton, and that brings up Stall Cup, and he gets a 6-6, six, six, which is a fly ball to center field. So Sutton is being just as stingy, really, as Blackwell. And that brings the Dodgers to the plate. And in the person of Dusty Baker in the bottom of the fourth. In a 0-0 game. 4-5. That's a strikeout for Baker. Baker gets K'd. Fourth strikeout for Blackwell. Rick Monday up. He gets a 1-5, which is a strikeout. He had a hit last time. And that brings up Ron Say. And Ron Say gets a 5-8, which is a triple one or a single. That's going to be a single. So the Penguin with a hit. With two down. And up steps Lee Lacey. And he gets a 6-4, which is a fly ball left field C. No runs come across for the Dodgers in the fourth. We go to the top of the fifth in a scoreless game between the 1951 Reds and the 1977 Dodgers. Bobby Adams for the Reds comes up. He gets a 4-10. He had a hit last time. This is a ground ball to third. Third baseman is Ron Say. He is a two. And that's a two. That's going to be a hit. So Bobby Adams is two for two. Sutton just cannot seem to solve Bobby Adams. And that brings up Dixie Howell. And he gets a 1-7, which is a fly ball to left. So there's one down. Howell is 0-2. for two. Bob Usher gets a 5-8. That's a triple 1-3 to three or a single. And that's going to be a single double asterisk. So the Reds have a little something going here. Runners at the corners with only one out. And Usher is also two for two, so Sutton can't solve him either. The bottom of the order giving Sutton a little trouble, and Lloyd Merriman comes up. Three six is a line out to second, and he's out for the third time. The first two were on strikeouts, and this time he lined out. That leaves it all up to Joe Adcock. And he gets a three five, which is a single and knocks in a run. So the Reds crack out on top. with a single with a man 90 feet away. And they are on now on top one nothing with Wyrus Deck up and he gets two eight, which is a single double asterisk and they take a two nothing lead. So Wyrus Deck, let's see, wait a minute. They had, uh, yeah, this guy scored. So yeah, there's nobody on now. Uh, Wyrus Deck with a, with a Base hit and a run batted in. Sutton gives up his seventh hit and second run of the game. And Connie Ryan's up and he gets a 2-5, which is a strikeout. So Sutton does manage to strike him out, but the Reds bust out on top in the top of the fifth by the score of 2-0. And, uh, the 77 Dodgers looking to, you know, come up, get some runs, and try to get back into this. Bill Russell up. He gets a 6-9, which is a ground ball to shortstop. The shortstop for the Reds is Stalkup, and he's 3. And that's a, that's a 1, so that's going to be a single. Russell with a single. 
Only the third hit Blackwell has allowed, though. Johnny Oates is up. He gets a 410. That's a shortstop. Shortstop is a three. That is a four. That might be something there, too. Four and three. No, it isn't, but it isn't. It's an out, but it does advance the runner to second. So Johnny Oates makes a productive out, moving Russell to second base with one out. Baby Lopes up. He gets a 5 6, which is a fly ball to center field. He's out. And that brings up Steve Garvey. And Steve Garvey gets a 4 6, which is a is a strikeout, yes. So Blackwell continues to keep the door closed on the Dodgers. As we go to the top of the sixth, as and the 51 Reds are maintaining a 2-0 lead on the 77 Dodgers, and Klazuski steps up. He gets a 2-9, which is an out. One away. Stall Cup. Stall Cup gets a 4 9, which is a single one to 15. And that is going to be a single. So the Reds are kind of hitting. Um, they're hitting uh, Sutton up a little bit harder than you would think here. Eight hits, two earned runs. And Bobby Adams up, who has been two for two on the day, and he gets a ground ball B. So now he's at first. There's a force at second on that. And that brings up Dixie Howell, the catcher. He gets a 2-8, which is a pop-out to third base. So the Reds do not get any more runs in the sixth. They're still maintaining the 2-0 lead. And up steps Reggie Smith for the Dodgers. He gets a 1-8, which is a walk. That is only the third walk allowed by Blackwell. Dusty Baker comes up. He gets a 2-6, which is a double 1-5 to five or a single double asterisk. Single double asterisk for Lopes. Or no, for Baker. Sorry. Fourth hit allowed by Blackwell. Runners at the corners for the Dodgers. The Reds will sacrifice the run to get a try to play for a double play with Rick Monday up. And he gets a 6-6, six, six, which is a pop-out to first. So he gets out without getting any runners home. And that brings up Say. And he gets a 2-8, which is a ground ball A, and it is a double play that gets the Reds out of the inning without allowing any runs to the Dodgers. And we are going, surprisingly, we are going now to the top of the seventh, and the Reds maintaining a 2-0 lead on the Dodgers. <coughs> Bob Usher up. 5-5. Five, five. That is a strikeout, one away. I mean, it's not like Sutton has pitched horribly. Because really, he hasn't. He's got six strikeouts allowed, eight hits, which is a little much, but he's only allowed two runs. Lloyd Merriman up. One four is a fly ball to right field. So Merriman's out. And that brings up Joe Adcock. And he gets a 5-7, which is a fly ball to right field. I mean, the Reds' offense is not putting up a ton of runs here. And so Sutton is still technically keeping the Dodgers in this game and has kept them in this game. Lee Lacey up for the Dodgers for eight. That is a walk. So Lacey is aboard. That's the fourth walk for Blackwell. Bill Russell up. He gets a 1-6. That's a triple 1-4 to four or a double. And that's going to be a double. So the Dodgers have runners at second and third. The Reds are going to bring the infield in. Johnny Oates up. 1-5 is a fly ball to right field B. So... 
Oates hits it to the right fielder, but that knocks in the run. So Oates with a sacrifice fly. First earned run allowed by Blackwell. Now there's a man at second with one away. And Davey lopes up. He gets a 5-3. That's a ground ball to first baseman, and that's um, Klazuski, and he's a 4. And that's a 15. Let's see what happens on that. It's a one-base error. Klazuski makes a critical error and allows runners to go to the corners. That's the second error for the Reds in this game as well. Now the Reds will play the infield in again. Steve Garvey up. 111 is a single, and that scores a run. And the tying run just came across. And that brings up Reggie Smith. 6-6 six, six is a pop-out to first base. So that's two away. And now Dusty Baker is up, and he gets a 4-8, which is a walk. So the, run, the bases are now full of Dodgers with two away. And Rick Monday up. And he gets a 2-3, which is a ground ball B, and the Dodgers are out of the inning. But they scored the two tying runs that they needed. And so now we are knotted at two, going to the top of the eighth. And now the Reds find themselves in a situation where they need to score at least another run off of Sutton, who has been not really stellar, but has been good enough. And Weirastek steps up to the plate. He gets a 1-8, single 1 to 11. And he does get a single out of that. So Weirastek is 3 for 4. And that's the ninth hit given up by Sutton to the 51 Reds. And then Connie Ryan steps up. He gets a 5-5, which is a strikeout. One away. Seven strikeouts for Sutton, and Klazuski's up, trying to make up for that error that he had. 6-9. Shortstop. Shortstop is Bill Russell, and he is a 2. And that's a 13. That's probably a double play. And it uh, is a double play. So the Reds are out of the inning. They don't get any runs. We go to the bottom of the 8th. With L.A. up. They are going to keep Blackwell out there. He pitched 233 innings that year. And his inning of weakness was an 8. So he is good for it. That's for sure. Um, and so L.A. will step up and bring up Ron Say the Penguin. 1-7. That is a single one to 8. And he does get it. So the Penguin is aboard. I mean, the 51 Reds were 68 and 86. So you got to believe they really didn't have much of a bullpen. I mean, at least I would think that. Lee Lacey up. He gets a 5'11. Ground ball to the pitcher. And he is a pitcher four defensively. That's going to hurt. 9, 19 is out with no runners on. So it's a fielder's choice that Lacey hits into. So there's a runner at first with one out, and that's Lacey. And Bill Russell's up. 1-5 is a single double asterisk. So runners go to the corners now with one out. Russell has really been hot today. He's 3 for 4. Eighth hit allowed by Blackwell. They will play the infield back with Johnny Oates. Up. And 1-7 is a ground ball B. And Johnny Oates knocks in his second run of the game. Two away. They, they um, gambled and they lost on that. And the Dodgers push ahead their go-ahead run. And Davey Lopes is up. And he gets a 2-8, which is a walk. And they have two aboard. It's 
Steve Garvey up, 6'11". That's going to be a first base C, so he's out. Ground ball, first base. Um, but they push ahead the go-ahead run, and so now we go to the top of the ninth with the Reds up. They need a run right here because they're down 3-2 in the top of the ninth, and stall cup. We're coming up to the bottom of the order, which has given Sutton fits. So we'll see what happens. 210 is a single, and that's going to be a hit for Stall Cup. 10th hit allowed for Sutton, so they will take him out of the game. They figure he's probably seen enough. And they will bring in the man who might have been as close as whatever you could say to the closer for 1977, Elias Sosa. So Sutton is in the books as only pitching seven, or no, eight, right? Eight. Yep. He goes eight, allows ten hits, strikes out seven, and two earned runs. Bobby Adams is up. He's had a good day. He gets a 5-11, which is a ground ball to the first baseman, and that's Steve Garvey, who is a one. And that's a seven. That might be an error. And it is. Steve Garvey, the usually sure-handed Steve Garvey, makes an error that allows Bobby Adams aboard. And this is why you play the games, folks. Reds with two on and no outs. And Dixie Howell up. And he gets a 4-7, which is a triple 1-4. to four. Imagine if this is 1-4. to four. And it is. It is a 1. So that's a triple, knocks in two runs, and the Reds take a one-run lead on a Dixie Howell incredible triple. And um, uh, one of those runs is Sosa's. The other is Sutton's. And now the Reds also only have a man 90 feet away, still with no outs and Bob Usher up. So the Dodgers will have no choice but to bring in the infield. And that's a 3-9, which is a strikeout. So Usher makes the first out of the inning. Sosa gets a very key strikeout. Lloyd Merriman's up, and he gets a 2-7, which is a ground ball, third base B, but that cuts the runoff and uh, nobody and stops the runner from scoring. Anyway, so runner still at third, two down, and Joe Adcock up, and he gets a 6-8, which is a line out to third base. So they did get two runs on a two-run triple by Dixie Howell. Um, yeah. So let's see here. Put those in. And now the Dodgers, we go to the bottom of the ninth. And the Dodgers have to have one run to tie, two to win the game. And Reggie Smith will be the first batter. And they're going to try to stick with Blackwell and see if he can get through this game. 2-5 is a home run by Reggie Smith, and he ties the game on the first swing. So that wasn't to be. And it is now for all... And Dusty Baker up. He gets a 2-9, which is a home run 1-18. to I can't believe it. No, it is actually a double. All right, so they don't take the lead. They don't win the game. But they've really got to hold. Um, that's going to be it for Blackwell. He goes... Um, he goes 8 as well. 
mean, he just could not get that out, which they really sorely needed. And so now you've got to go into what was probably not a very good bullpen. And we're going to go to Frank Smith for the Reds. The Reds will bring in Frank Smith to pitch. With a runner at second and only and really no outs. And Rick Monday's up. They're going to let him hit. They're not going to sacrifice with Rick Monday. So 4-5. That is a ground ball C. Moves uh, Baker to um, third. And that's going to cause the Reds to have to bring the infield in. With Ron Say up. And he gets a 3-6. Which is a ground ball A. Two away. And uh, let's see, the infield was in. And runner on third holds. So that's two outs. And that brings up Lacey. Lee Lacey with a 3 5, which is a fly ball center field B. He is out. But the Dodgers tie the game, and we go to the top of the 10th, where the Reds are now again in the situation where they need to score a run. Why Wyrestrek is up and he gets a 3-9 which is a fly ball to center field. One out. Connie Ryan up. He gets a 5-5 which is a strikeout. The bad part is that Sosa is only probably good for just two innings. Klazuski is up and he gets a 1-5 which is a fly ball. He hasn't done much all day and he doesn't do anything there and we go to the bottom of the 10th. Frank Smith still on for the Reds. Now conversely as opposed to Sosa, the um, uh, Frank Smith can pitch a little more than two innings. So Bill Russell will lead off against him and pops out to shortstop. He's been having a good day but there he gets out. Johnny Oates up. He gets a 3-7, which is a single. Johnny Oates has been a key player here for the um, Dodgers, coming in in relief of Jaeger, who left with an injury. And Davey Lopes is up with one out, one on, and that's a 5-3, which is a fly ball to left. The left fielder is a 3. That's Bob Usher. That's a 9. That's not. That's bad news right there. 9-3 is a double three, and the Dodgers win the game on a double by Davey Lopes. He knocks in the run. Frank Smith gives up the hit and the earned run. And the Dodgers win it in 10 by the score of 5-4. The Reds came oh so close to winning the first game of the series. But now it will shift to Cincinnati, and they will have to win game two to force a game three. So that very exciting game. I hope you liked it. That's it for me, though. Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.